Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga, and here we are. It is day 30 of our Ashtanga Yoga Challenge for beginners. So well done. This is the last day, so I hope you're ready. We're going to do everything that we've done so far. We'll start off with the opening chant. So come to a comfortable base for yourself. Sit or stand tall, take an inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Take a few moments to connect with body, mind and breath. Check in. Feel grounded. And then take another inhale. Bande Guru Nam Charna Ravinde Samdash Tisatva Safara Pote Neshte Se Jankai Kai Mani Samsala Hala Hala Muha Shantye Abau Purushikaram Janka Chakrasi Tarinam Sahasra Shrasam Shvetam Pranamani Patanjalim Om. We're coming to Samastiti. We're going to do two rounds of A and two rounds of B before we get to our final posture in the sequence, which is Setu Bandasana. So from here, we'll be aware of the bandas, the breath, dristi, and A cam. Inhale, lift. Dve, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, lift the heart space. Chakvare, exhale, and lower. Pancha, inhale, back bend of choice, you choose. Shak, exhale, down the dog. One, we'll begin to lift and lower the heels if you wish. Two, we're on all fours or seated, just fold forward, let the head dangle. Three, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Remember the breath is the practice. Four, establish your drishti if you're in downward dog. And five, look forward. Sukta, inhale, step jog or jump. Ashtau, exhale, fall. Nava, inhale, press through the heels, rise up. Exhale. Samastiti hi. And again, ekam, inhale, dve, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, lift. Chatvare, exhale, lower, elbows in. Pancha, inhale, roll the shoulders open. Shat, exhale, down with dog. One, settle into the breath. Two, and shoulder distance, feet hip distance. Three. And then we can bring your knees down. Four. Five. Look forward. Sukta, inhale, step drop or jump. Ashta, exhale, fall. Nava, inhale, rise up. And exhale, Samastiti Hi. Suri Namaskar B. Inhale, sit back, Utkatasana. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale, legs back and lowering. Inhale to lift, lift the heart space. Exhale to dog. Right leg. Inhale, right leg. Palms touch, so we can float apart. Exhale, all the way down. Remember, knees down is an option. Inhale to lift. Exhale to dog. Left leg. Inhale, left leg, palms touch. Try and keep the back heel down. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to dog. One. Settling. Two. Bring your knees down for an extra rest as you need to. Three. Relax around the face, relax the neck. Four. Burn the muscles of the legs, push out of the shoulders. Five. Look forward. Inhale, come through. 
Exhale to fold. Inhale, sit back, palms together and lift. Exhale, Samasthiti. Final one. Ekam, inhale, sit back. Dve, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, lift the heart space. Chakvari, exhale and lower. Pancha, inhale, lift. Sha, exhale, dog. Right leg. Sukta, inhale, square the hips. Ashta, exhale, lower down. Nava, inhale, back bend. Desha, exhale, down the dog, left leg. Inka, desha, inhale, rise up. Dve, desha, exhale, and lower. Rayo, desha, inhale, and lift. Chatva, desha, exhale, to dog. One. Check for me your breath. Two. Be where you can relax. Three. Reach the sitting bones up and back. Good. Four. And five. Look forward. Inhale, come through. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sit back, palms together and lift. Exhale, Samasthiti. So Vinyasa to Satu Bandhasana. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, let's back and lowering. Inhale to lift. Exhale to go. Inhale up onto the toes, look forward, step, draw or jump through to seated, and then lay all the way back. So some options for Setu Vandasana. Bring the soles of the feet together, kind of like duck's legs, duck's feet, <laughs> that's it. And drop the knees out wide. So traditionally you would do this on the crown of the head, at the top of the head. This can be quite a big ask, particularly on your vulnerable neck. So we're going to look at how we can go into this excessively. Cross the arms over the chest and then just relax the elbows. Press the heels together, entering. One. So you may simply just lift the chest from this position. So you kind of lift, you've got a mini back bend going on. Two. As you squeeze Mother Banda, it might be you can press the heels and lift the hips away from the floor. Three. So the back stay, the upper back stays on the floor. You don't lift that. Just the hips that lift. This helps you to open the hips. Four and a half. Steady the breaths. You might be grounded or you might be up. It's fine. Five. Exhale, lower down. From here, you would take a chakrasana, a backward roll in somersault, or you might say another day, and take a vinyasa or take a seat of vinyasa. Lower the body. Inhale to lift. Exhale to go. Inhale, come through. And we have the final three on day 30. So cross the arms behind the back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, entering. One. Baddha Padmasana. Two. Or Yogi Mudra. Three, settle into the breath. Remember your Pinocchio you know, Dristi. Four, just fold to your own measure. No force, no striving. Five, all the waves of breath. Six, remember breath stays in the nostrils. Keep the mouth closed. Seven, eight, nine, And squeeze the pelvic floor, inhale, lift up. Exhale to Padmasana. Hands to Chin Mudra, Jhana Mudra, inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. One. Sit nice and tall. Two. Same, Nasagrai Dristi. Three. Four. 
four, remember your straight lines of energy, five, first finger and thumb connect, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, inhale, look up, Exhale, release, Utkrutihi, hands by the hips. Inhale, exhale, engage or lift. One, look forward. Two, hollow body, lower abdominals in. Three, good. Four, remember if you come down, go back up. Five, see if you can maybe lift the feet. See, six, <laughs> you might fall over. That's all right. Seven. Keep your focus. Eight. We're nearly there. You can do it. Nine. Keep trying. You can do it. Ten. Exhale. Release. Good. Ease out the wrists. Spinal vinyasa to freedom for our 30-day challenge. Take the legs back. We'll do a seated vinyasa. Inhale to lift. Exhale to go. Inhale. Come through. And then lay all the way back for Shavasana, drop your ankles open, palms, take an inhale, exhale, <sighs> again, inhale, exhale, <sighs> last one, inhale, exhale, <sighs> getting to drift down into the state of Narojahar or inner stillness. Observe how far you've come in 30 days, be appreciative, maybe feel stronger, maybe calmer, maybe there's more connection between body and mind. Maybe you can feel the healing power of the breath. Resting here. If you wish to stay longer, please do so. Otherwise, begin to deepen the breath. Bringing movements to fingers and toes as you move the head from side to side. And then on the inhale, take a full body stretch. And exhale to let go, oh, we might have a yawn. Ooh, bending at the knees and the elbows, have a seat in, big fat, keep the body for the seven days. As you roll over to one side, think of one thing you're grateful for, maybe it's having the focus of this challenge. Just to help you feel better. And then leave, bring yourself up. Do a comfortable seated position, sit tall, lengthen the spine, lift the heart space, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra, take an inhale, exhale, gently bow the head as we give thanks for our health and our practice for the 30 days for the gift of our yoga. And then take an inhale to lift up and exhale, namaste. So if you made it through all these days, well done. I really appreciate you practicing with me. Now you can go back over these. Maybe you're on catch up, that's all right. You can do these 30 days at any point in the year just to feel stronger, to develop your practice. You can go back and do make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like button. We may have a cheeky bonus coming up tomorrow, just see. <laughs> so do make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that class. Take care.